first thing first you want to wash your client hair with conditioner and shampoo shampoo first before conditioner and then after that you just go ahead to use either hand dryer or wall dryer to dry the hair depending on which you have at the moment but for me i love to use hand dryer especially when i want to either box braid my client's hair or do some sort of stuff on my client's hair i love to use hand dryer most times but I sometimes i also use um, wall dryer as well hi everyone welcome back again to the channel thank you so much for always tuning in to this um to always tuning in anytime i upload a new video hope everyone is good hope we're staying safe at home hope we are fine we're healthy please if you are new here just go ahead to click on the subscribe button to join the family so that you don't get to miss any new video coming up from this channel give this video a big thumbs up share the video to friends family loved ones enemies as well you never can tell who actually really needs to watch this video to learn new skills or to better their skills my client is here to recreate one of Beyonce's look that she saw online. You guys already know this client, this particular client, and I can see that most of you actually likes her. So she saw this particular, she saw this um, Beyonce's hairstyle and she wanted to recreate, recreate <laughs> she wanted to recreate it. For this uh, video or for this um, hairstyle, I'm using color 30 and 27 rich braid expression attachment, which is also known as extension. Sometimes if I mention extension just so that okay maybe it's either the attachment or yes or a weevil and i cut the attachment into three that's cut three all the attachments actually cut it into cut three i did not do like uh, maybe cut three at the back or cut four or, or cut two in front everything cut three then after cutting, I decided to mix both the colors together. That's the color 30 and 27 together to give us this particular color you're seeing here. And for braiding, I'm actually not box braiding it into smaller portions. I'm doing the medium size. And for the back, I just section the hair randomly like so. So I'm doing medium size. I'm not doing it as tiny as Beyonce's hairstyle because she said she can't stay. Like she cannot sit for a longer period of time. So that's why I'm actually, you know, sectioning it out into this size so that we can finish your time. Mm -hmm. And I'm braiding from the root to where her hair, the tip of her hair actually stops, then I'll just drop it. Once I reach the tip of her hair, I'm not tying any knots. This is so that it will be so easy for her to loosen the hair. So I'm not tying a knot, I'm just leaving it that same way. Like I'll just, after box braiding to the tip of her hair, I'll just drop the hair for further, you know, further processing. <laughs> I decided to start sectioning the box braid in lines like so at this point I'm just going to allow you to watch the video and see what I'm doing so that you get a better view and also understand the whole process And yeah, this is what the tip actually looks like. When, once I drop it, after box braiding to the tip of her head, I drop it. I just use comb to comb it so that it will be smooth. This is so that it will come out well. I want the result to be well. So that's why I'm doing it like this. And this is what the tip looks like. Again, once I'm done um, box braiding, this is what the hair looks like. So yeah, we'll just move over to the next step. now i'm putting the front into like a pony using a rubber band to just help me you know hold it down so that it won't get in the way while i'm trying to like you know style the back before i start styling the back i like to comb the hair neatly with a small comb then i pick just six pieces of the box braid tips to start twisting and i'm twisting it very tight I'm twisting i'm twisting to the left not to the right i'm not doing the kinking you know that kinking type of 
twist you know that bouncing kinky type of twist i'm not doing that type of twist i'm actually twisting it in such a way that it will be framed so i'm twisting it to the left like so for this particular style you do not want to twist to the right because it's the twist or the coils will really come out the way it should so for you to get a good result you will need to twist you need to twist the hair to the left not to the right like the bouncing kinky uh, bouncing kicking twisting is to the right and why this particular twisting is to the left so if you want to this is a tip for you guys if you want your twisting to be tight you have to twist to the left anytime you are twisting anybody's hair you want it to be tight you twist to the left but if you are doing the kinking type of twist you twist to the right because the uh, kinking type of twist is like a loose twist so you are just twisting it loosely so that it can later bounce I hope you guys get what I mean okay after twisting the tip of the hair this is what it looks like this is what it actually looks like you can take as little as three pieces or four pieces so for me here I actually did like four piece um, six pieces at the back and then four pieces in front this is because I want the coils to come out even better than what Beyonce's all looks like because Beyonce's coils is actually loose coils but has she wants it to be like a deep coil and the reason why I box braid the hair to the tip of her hair is because I do want the I do want it to come out very neat sometimes when you box braid hair like when you want to coil any hair or coil the tip of any hair and you actually leave out the person's natural hair it tends to get old on time so it's usually preferable to braid to the person's natural hair down to the person's natural hair before you can now coil the remaining part of the hair so that the whole hair can last that the coils can last for a longer period of time and also so that it can come out neat <laughs> Then before twisting any section I take, I love to comb the hair first. That's the tip of the hair first with a small comb because after dipping the hair inside hot water, I do not want it to, I do not want the twist to be difficult for me to loosen. I want it to be very easy and I also want it to come out neat. So that's why I'm combing it, combing it with a small comb first before I go ahead to twist. Okay, we continue that same way until I'm done twisting all her hair. Baby, I'm lost, I'm fading now Baby, I'm lost, I'm fading now Tell me if you wanna go sometime Yeah, we could be alone tonight Baby, I'm lost, I'm fading now Baby, After I'm twisting, lost we just go ahead to dip the hair inside hot water like so and it should be like a boiled hot water it should not be like hot just normal hot it should be boiled boiled hot water 100 degrees <laughs> actually applied styling mousse um, to the head that's the whitest stuff you're seeing so I applied styling mousse just so that it can hold the coils for a longer period of time and also the braids for a longer period of time okay once I'm done dipping all the hair right now I'm loosening only the twisted part um, like so this is what the coils looks like after loosening the twisted parts instead of using gel but if you have gel you can actually use gel but right now i have the black gel which will actually change the color of the hair so i do not want to use the black gel i just go ahead to use um this styling mousse and for the styling mousse this is the regular one you can find in the market in nigeria market and it cost about it's not expensive before it used to be like 750 but right now i think it's 1200 or 1100 i'm not sure right now i'm just spraying the hair with hairspray to add little shine to the hair the 
final look thank you so much for watching the video from the beginning to the end hope you're able to learn something new hope i'm actually impacting knowledge here hope you learn and yeah if you are new here just go ahead to click on the subscribe button to join the family share the video to friends and family give the video a big thumbs up and also like to know what you think about this hairstyle in the comment section below we'll talk to you guys in my next video and i will know i would like to know if you will slay or you want to wear this type of hairstyle just leave it in the comment section below and if you recreate this look please you can tag me on instagram instagram handle is i am oninye underscore i am underscore oninye okk on instagram so yeah we'll talk to you guys in my next video stay blessed bye if you wanna go sometime if you wanna leave this town baby i'm lost i'm fading now baby i'm lost i'm fading now tell me if you wanna go sometime